after picturing the memories, I want you to get emotional because we do not care about boring things. If you want people you work with to remember something, if you want to remember something, you've got to care. I care about learning and memory because the world is rapidly changing. Those new agile and DevOps and whoa, is this C++ or C Sharp and whoa, wait, is this automated? All everything's changing all the time. I just met you, what's your name? You don't have a name tag on. Why did I walk into the kitchen? It's hard. The world is changing all the time and I want you to be able to teach things to your colleagues in a way that they go, oh yeah, I remember. Don't worry, I got it. I double tie run lint before I check the code in. Got it. Or whatever else you're trying to remember. But if you don't care, nobody's gonna care. If I walked out here and said, good morning, I am here to teach you the science of learning and memory. In the first spot, I want you to put a blueberry. In the second spot, a meditation book. In the third spot, a record player. You'd be like, You'd be walking out of here, first of all, for starters. But second of all, why would you remember it if I don't care? We don't remember flat things. We remember emotional things. The peak end rule of memory says in any unit, including my keynote, you will remember an emotionally intense moment. So if you feel anything, if I freaked you out when I started yelling or whatever, you'll probably remember that and otherwise the ending. So we're looking for emotional salience, emotion. So for me, I'm showing you a slightly emotional face, or very emotional face. And for me, I made it really, really weird. I made a cascade of tears falling down my stairs. In your next Memory Palace spot, I want you to picture emotion. Is that your kid or your niece or nephew bawling their eyes out? Is that you on your wedding day? Is it the photograph of your parents meeting? Emotion, a really intense scene from your favorite movie. I don't care what it is, but I want you to close your eyes if you're willing. Picture the emotion. Feel the emotion. Maybe you can hear the crying or the laughing. Maybe you can feel the tears on your own cheek or dripping off their cheek into your hand while you hold them. Don't mean to trigger anyone with trauma here, but I want you to remember this, so I want it to be weird and intense and emotional. If you care, they will care. Nobody remembers boring stuff. Don't make it boring if you want them to remember. Tell us why we should remember. Get us to feel it. I want you to remember this. Here's my attempt to make you feel and care about memory.